The messenger is claimed to have been incapable of reading and writing. The term for that in Arabic is ummi. Ummi, incapable of two things, reading or writing. The ayah, the, the ayah, not verse, ayah I'm about to share with you, introduces him as an ummi. Ummi once again meaning incapable of reading and writing. هُوَ الَّذِي بَعَثَ فِي الْأُمِّيِّينَ رَسُولًا مِّنْهُمْ He is the one who sent among the unlettered, unlettered implying no reading, no writing, a messenger from among themselves, يَتْلُوَ عَلَيْهِمْ آيَاتِهِ He reads on to them his miraculous signs. Now the thing is, the first part of the ayah said, he's unlettered. And the next part of the ayah says what? What does he do? He reads, he recites. And tala, you know, the word for reading in Arabic, there's qira'ah and tilawa, right? So the word tilawa in Arabic actually literally means to follow because when someone's reading a book, their eyes are following the words on the page and their finger is following. And when you read a lot of books, volumes of books, it's like you're traveling through the words. It's obvious that reading is an act that's engaged in with the eyes and that's the word used. Tala and even iqra. But, but, in explaining this in other places, we find where was the Qur'an revealed? Do you know where it was revealed? Into the heart of this man. نَزَلَ بِهِ الرُّوحُ الْأَمِينَ عَلَىٰ قَلْبِكَ The angel Jibreel came down with it upon your heart. When you and I read, where do we read from? But Allah explains, and when, when this ayah came down, this ayah came down about the, heart, the Qur'an being revealed on the Messenger's heart, you know what the Messenger himself said, sallallahu alayhi wa He said, كَأَنَّهُ مَكْتُوبٌ عَلَىٰ قَلْبِ It is as though it was written on my heart. So when he's reading, where is he reading from? A different faculty is involved. For all of us, the faculty of eyes are involved in reading. But for a Messenger, his heart is the one that recites. His heart is the one that reads.